maybe kick the bottom out a little. Yeah. Oh, I, can, I got I got the screen box. I can't see what it is. Stand there and wave at everybody. Hello, world. Hey, world. All right. Now, this is... Okay. This video is going to be a little different. Uh, what it is, we got this old parts truck out here, and we're having to get a fender off of it because we got this fender sold. And, uh, but all the clips are broke, so it's taking a little bit. Plus, it's taking those heads off that 302 motor the other day. I broke every wrench that I had. So, I'm using a broke ratchet. But uh, what I just want to talk about was, okay, the other day, it was like, you know, trolls, internet trolls, internet trolls uh, you know, any any communication comments is, is, is an algorithm boost. So, yeah. you know, it is. So even like for trolls, hey, you know, we're over like 240 subscribers. I saw that. Yeah, dude. Then thank you, people. And I was talking to people, uh, you know, like people are ready to hey, man, we watch your channel. And like, you know, because we do. We do work on cars. We have some cool car content. Yeah. But mainly our content is just communication. Yeah, this is talking. Yeah, it's talking. You want us to go ahead and see if we can get the grill busted out of here. I mean, out of there. We don't want to bust yeah. it out. But, yeah. But, man, you know something I hate about stuff? I'm not sure where, where to unbolt it at. I think when you take that, that's hooked. It's, it's just attached to the bottom. It has attached to the bottom. Oh, oh, oh. Where's that from? This piece comes off with this piece. So what you have to do is, is get the whole, all the screws off the bottom, and then it tips out. See, you know what I'm saying? So I need to get, like, down in here, or, or? I don't know. There is uh, bolts there. Here, yeah, work on that one right there, and I'll get up here and figure this out. Oh, and hey, you see that chrome, that aluminum wheel stand up? You see that aluminum wheel right there? Right there, there's two of those. They fit a Ford truck. We'll air those up and put them on the back of Christian's truck. We got a fifty six right. we got a fifty-six Ford F one fifty. Got a two ninety two V eight in it. Huh. And we gotta get it broke loose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some wheels and tires on it, put some engine blocks in the bed of it, and drag it up and down the road in front of the shop and see if we can get the motor to yeah. come yeah. loose. Yeah. So you get to watch that. The traffic's gonna love us that day. Oh for sure. But one of the guys, and it's not really an internet troll. So, guy, if you're watching this, I forgot his username. Uh, but he said, you guys need to exercise. Stat. Well, the deal is, I'm fat. Paul's kind of chubby. Seth actually exercises. Seth does the whole exercise thing, right, Seth? Yeah. And, uh, I do some daily exercises. Like, every day. Yeah. That's what this does, man. This... This tips out like this. Well, you got to get the rest of the bolts out. But when you get the rest of the bolts out, it tips out and slides up. But, but that's that made me start thinking. to do talking about exercising. Uh, Seth, I want to ask you a serious question. All right. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Any superpower... I used to know the answer to this question because I had it that way in case you ever rubbed the genie bottle. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what do you want? I know, I know, I know the answer to this. I know this one. Uh, I would just break this out, but man, this is an original Chevrolet grill, and these things are hard to find for these old things. Because if I had to choose any superpower, oh, that's what it was, is I wish I had the power to have any superpower I wanted on command. Well, that's kind of like that guy from Heroes, except I wouldn't have to kill people and touch their brain. Hey, I found out if you watch the whole show, uh -huh. Peter Petrelli, uh -huh. uh, Peter Petrelli and Siler had exactly the same superpower. And Siler didn't, that was what was so crazy when you found out that Siler never had to kill anybody. He just enjoyed it. He was just a bad person. He was just a bad person. It's almost like he's a superpower. Yeah. Okay, if I could have any superpower, you know what I would want my superpower to be? He still has to come in contact with him, though. Just touch him. Yeah, so. Yeah, all you had to do is walk up and shake their hand. Yeah. I wish I had that power, except I didn't have to touch, meet someone with that power. Because then that would mean that I just didn't have any superpowers. Right? Man, this thing is on there, man. This radiator support. This thing's hit a tree. This stuff's all bent up and broken. Yeah, go on. That gum. Where's that fill up that flat tip? Hey, I mean, it would have been a good well, no, or it, is the fender not broken? It's, no, the bumpers the, somebody the, put a bumper, grill, I mean. somebody put a grill in it after it was all screwed up. After this bumper, this radiator supports messed up. Okay. 
So you're saying what superpower you pick? I would like to have the superpower of multiplicity. Well, yeah, like just clone yourself. I would love to be able to clone myself like 10 times. That way, like right now, one of me could be doing this with you, right? Right. But the other of me could be driving truck today, making 30 some odd dollars an hour. Matter of fact, I'd have four or five of me driving truck. Right. And I would, but, I would. Instead of, instead of like, uh, instead of just being most, it would be kind of like a high level. Like you're experiencing it all at once. Yeah, you experience so it, it wouldn't just be like, well. I guess dad pawned me off with one of the it's clones. No, the no, clones no. It'd just be like, uh -huh. oh, wow, uh -huh. there's eight dads doing different stuff right now. Yeah, not, but you're still hanging out with dad. Right. No matter who's here. Right. You're still hanging out with dad. And like that I would get, be cool. Yeah, and that way I could be making like $100 an hour with three of me driving truck. Right. And we could say, hey, screw this, man. Let's go fishing. Right. Let's go deer hunting. Man, my dad was wanting to go deer hunting with me today. We went, we went and cut a couple ricks of wood this morning and uh had a really good time hanging out with my dad we cut a couple ricks of wood and then dad's like i don't know what i'm gonna do i got work to do but i think i'm gonna go there and i told him what my philosophy is work will be here when you get back if you don't go deer hunting that time is gone forever right you know True. But uh, I, I would like, I don't know, man, but multiplicity, I still only, but that's not really, that wouldn't be a superpower, though, because I mean, it would kind of, but, but I, I would still like to be able to, like, fly or something. Right. You know one thing I hate about, and I know it's funny because anybody watching this, for one thing, can they? Can you see the camera? I don't know if anybody's even seeing anything at all. Uh, well, I, I, I can kind of see. It. I'm just on the other side of this guy. But uh, okay. if you hear a breaking noise, that's okay. It's this is normal. It's normal. Man, I do not know what that is. Hung on down there. So you were saying that multiplication wasn't really like a superpower because it was yes, it turning just, into 10 normal people. 10 normal people, yeah. Because I would still like to be able to. And I think, yeah, like, anytime somebody asks me, like, oh, what would you favorite, what superpower do you have? Now? Like, obviously, my, my, overthinking mind instantly goes into well, what's the context behind it, right? Right. It's like, do I want a superpower to use in a world like this? A world where other people have superpowers? Or, you know, like, do I want it to be super useful? So basically, do I want a power that's useful for everyday life? You know, or a power that's useful for fighting supervillains? I was cussing Chevy. <laughs> yeah. Somebody added a, uh, Oh, <laughs> that is not Chevy's fault. Would you go get me a Phillips screwdriver? Yeah, it's a little bit of a buckle right there that I torque out. But yeah, that kind of like I take into consideration. It's not really like taking into consideration. It's just you know, obviously everyone's asking the question based on a power you would want for everyday life. But what if there were other like what if there are super villains in the world? Then what power would you want? Right? Yeah, because then your answer would instantly change. That's why I guess if I could have any superpower I wanted, for the most part, I would just want to be Flash. Not Flash, Shazam. Because, okay, Superman, okay, Superman is the biggest, baddest dude in the universe. Hands down. Shazam's pretty close. And, uh, but if Superman... I mean, face it, man. Putting on a pair of glasses does not make a disguise. Uh, like, it, I, you can't put on a pair of glasses and go tell somebody what you really think and then take the glasses off and go up later and, and not get punched in the face because the super glass, the glasses, that's just dumb. Uh, Flash could actually, I mean, Shazam could actually turn into a teenager, a normal teenager. Now, I know in your small hometown, if, if you try to get away, you can't because everybody knows eventually that, hey, you're Shazam. But, but, uh, 
But for the most part, man, if you wanted to turn into a kid or something and you could go somewhere off and nobody would recognize you, that would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I was telling them if, if I could have that, you know, any day superpower, I would want to be Shazam. Because he's almost as, as technically, he could be as anything Superman is. But he could get away from it all by turning back into a teenager. Right. Where no matter, you know what I was saying, I like, like, I, I love Superman. He's my favorite. Right. But putting on a pair of glasses does not make you a disguise. Right. You know? So, uh, so, you know, we would have never thought to have looked in there for a nope. freaking Ace nope. Hardware Phillips don't belong there. Screw. Nope. You know? There's another one up there, too. No, no, it's, it's all. You just need to pull that out. Okay. See that? Yeah. I mean, if, I, if I had a superpower... Here, I'll trade places with you. Okay. If I had a superpower in a world where there were other superpowered people, so I had to, like, fight supervillains and stuff, I would want the power to be 10% better uh, than anybody I was fighting. Yeah. Because then you're basically your superpower is just no matter what you can't lose a fight. Like, you know it won't be completely one sided where you're just gonna win. You know when I was a kid, I used to daydream about hot rodding all the time, and I was like, if I found a genie and a genie asked me what I wanted, I said, man, I would want a 1969 Cornet RT B5 blue with a black vinyl top and a white bubble bee stripe, and I wanted to have a 446 pack, and I wanted to always be two foot faster than whoever I'm racing. Right, right. Like, it don't matter if I'm racing a Citation and I barely outrun that Citation, you know, by two feet. And somebody else would be like, I'll race that slow dodge. And I would beat them by two feet. And it would be like, to the end of the day, I could eventually wind up like racing Don Garlic Swamp Rat. And I would outrun it right. by two feet. Right. But anyway, what got me to thinking about this was and it's kind of pathetic. It's that bullcrap excuse stuff. Uh, man, this is... Yeah, this, man, that, that right there, that thing is still good. And those things are pretty fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, that dude that said y'all need to exercise. Uh -huh. So I wanted to like, you know, like... Your mama needs to exercise, you know? You're so mean. You're, you're so mean. Bully. You're a bully. You're smelly and alone. Yeah. But uh, this is why you don't have a Facebook, you know, YouTube page, but you're going, you know, anyway. Right. But dude's right. And I got to thinking, how cool would it be? Because that's where my mind automatically, instead of like, I need to be responsible. And, you know, I'm like, man, if I had a superpower, I could have like three of me could go to the gym today. And we could all be spotting each other. And I'd be sitting here going, I'm shrieking. Look at my muscle. You know, like, because right, right. Because that could happen. Right. Right. Yeah. For, for context, this whole thing is he wants to be able to clone himself. And then, like, all when all the clones <laughs> come together, the, like, every physical activity that they did yep. kind of affects him all at once. Or, like, if it's a just, they're all connected through the hive, right? Right. Yeah. This thing hits. If, if, he, if, he, if he worked out as, like, three, three of me, three of him. Then he would just get the benefits of three, three people, three people working out three times at once. Yeah, right with each other, spotting each other. Hey, Junior. Hey, they're filming a video. They were filming a video, Junior. Oh well. Don't don't bump the phone. You can come around. You you can get on here if you want. Ah. Junior, man, Junior is the guy that can be internet famous. If you can see Junior, and Junior can talk and tell you some of the stuff that Junior says, Junior would be that guy that likes, well, hey, let's watch the channel now and see what Junior said. But we can't get him to get on here. Right. Camera shot. He's camera shot. He's, yeah, he's got people looking for him. No, he's, he's dead. Who? Dude that was looking for me. I found out, man. Or that, There's always something. okay. We're not mentioning any names. We never mention names. But we got that dude we went to school with. that was a cop. Of course, that's kind of funny because half of our freaking school turned into cops. But the one that, yeah, you know. Yeah. Anyway, dude got fired, right? Did he? Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh man, I'm I'm going to, you know, and so people are rumors this, there are rumors about that, and I'm thinking. 
man, I'm going to get the rumor on what happened, right? Well, he's a company. He's a drug addict. No, no, no. No, no, not that one. Oh. The crybaby dude. Oh, he got fired? Yeah, he got fired. I thought he went to Israel. That's why. But don't say that because we're not mentioning any names. But anyway, I've got friends. That, you know, so I'm thinking I ain't even going to spread the rumors. I ain't going to listen to no rumors. I'm going to get it straight from the horse's mouth. Right. So I call him like, hey, why did so-and-so get fired? Come to find out so-and-so been written up like a dozen times yeah. for not turning in their paperwork. For not, it's like, like I don't know. And I'm thinking... So they got fired for the same bull crap I would have got fired for. <laughs> like paperwork? Uh, and I, I want to be on cops, man. I don't want to be doing paperwork. Right. <laughs> you know, that's, from what I understand, that's 90% of the... Yeah. I want to be... I want to be tangling people. I want to be dragging people out of their car, man. <laughs> store robbers. Right. I want to be... Paper, you look like right. a shoplifter. <laughs> Ride the line, man. And then I tackled him. Hey, you want to hear a funny and story? He fell to the ground. I'll be honest with y'all, man. I worked at this jail for about three months. And uh, I met some good people. And I met some turd people, man. Yeah. I did. But there was this one dude they hired. And he was Barney freaking five. I mean, it was funny. He was so full of crap. He was like, I'm a jujitsu master. My hands are lethal weapons. And I'm thinking, I have an uncle like that. My sensei say no say. I all shut up. Anyway, this kid was such a a hole, man. I mean, it was like, you know, and it was, we were, I was putting this little old girl, this little old bitty girl, man, putting her in handcuffs one day. Because it was court day, right? Yeah. So I put this little tiny girl in handcuffs, and it was like, he walks up and he goes, better not run. You better not run. And she's looking at him like, are you on drugs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and uh, so anyway, she said, I'm looking at him like, he's weird. He's like, if you run, you have to ride the lightning. And, uh, and uh, so I, I take the girl to court, and I come back. And I get to do, and then right in front of my boss, too, I'm like, man, can I ask you a question? He like, yeah. And I said, how long have you been working here? And he said, like, three or four months. I said, how long were you waiting to say, ride the lightning? And he goes, well, you know what it means, right? And I said, yeah, I know exactly what it means. It means it's some impotent little wee block you with a badge running around saying, you want to ride the lightning? Trying to make yourself feel powerful. Right. It means you're a bully. I said the male genitalia word. <laughs> yeah. I called him the male genitalia. And it's, I was like, and he goes, well, man, I didn't. I, didn't. And I said, no, no, man. Dude, I said, you're supposed to treat people with respect. You know what the difference between the people on that side of the cage and on this side of the cage is? He's like, what? I said, nothing. You're supposed to treat people with respect. And it was, anyway, he got fired because he got caught watching the men take a shower. The men? Oh. Yeah. It was funny. One dude, of course, you know this. It was funny. That's not the, that is not how I was going to say that. story in. Turn. Well, no, yeah, get this turns though. Out he was a gay voyeurist. <laughs> He's a gay voyeurist. Well, it's just funny because there was this one dude in there named Marvin. He was an inmate. Marvin was pretty cool, right? right. But Marvin would not. Marvin was all the time like, I ain't no rat. I ain't no rat. And finally, one day I said, Marvin, dude got caught watching you shower. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who got caught watching you shower, Marvin? Well, where's he at? <laughs> well, you can't do anything, Marvin, yeah. except report it. Oh, I ain't no rat. Okay, well, he's just going to keep watching you shower, Marvin. No! <laughs> Guess what Marvin did? <laughs> he, he reported it. <laughs> you know? Good for Marvin. Mar Junior, have you got Where a 3H ratchet I can borrow? Yeah. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Man, I wish y'all could see Junior. Junior's so beautiful. Right? He is. He's one of like the sexiest men in Shark County. one of the sexiest men in Shark County. He has got more female friends on TikTok than my dad. His dad has a lot. My dad has a lot. <laughs> he talks about it every, every time, time anybody <laughs> goes over any day. Yep. I've been talking to them TikTok girls. I've been talking to them TikTok girls. 
my sister warned him, Dad, you're Well, some of them TikTok girls was taking him up on crap, and he's like, I had to block this one old gal. She was wanting to meet me. Oh, well, no. No. <laughs> thank, thank goodness you blocked her. Right. You were going to get jumped by like five different guys. No. No, I would rather my dad get jumped by five different guys than slamboozled by some grave digger that's going to be an antifreeze in his kool -Aid. Right. I watched 48 hours, man. I know how that story ends. She was an attractive young lady. <laughs> and he was a rich man who had retired. <laughs> had retired. He, he got on TikTok. He was single and started talking to women online. And then she poisoned him. Little did he realize that his estate wasn't actually worth that much. No, actually, it's, yeah. Um, and, no, I think what... Pretty big, but yeah, that's pretty rich. I mean, not rich, he just... He anyway, got a big, good property. He's got a good... But I can tell you what, man, if some old guy got to try to take advantage of my dad, my sister would go like creep, chuck all crazy squall on him. Right, right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that would shoot him with a bow and arrow, stomp on him with her moccasins. That would not go over good at all. She talks, she is a daddy's girl. Uh, muchos gracias. Thank you. He did that without getting on camera. This is Junior's ratchet. <laughs> Almost as beautiful as he is. Almost as beautiful as he is. What's that sock? I was telling Dad about that one girl you went to see in Ash Flat. The one where you, the girl was like, hey, come over and I'll make it worth your while. You went and knocked on the door and they wouldn't answer the door. Junior said, he's, thanks. <laughs> Put that on camera. Well, nobody knows who you are. I know. But stay that way. Now, right? Yeah. I was, Junior was just fixing to work up the courage to walk over. Oh. <laughs> but not now. Oh, he lives right there by the jail. Right. Anyway, hey, everybody. Junior has been working on a project. Junior has, it is tagged, honestly tagged, one owner. It is a one owner. Uh, of course, you know, I, I bought it. Grand, David Grunzik got it from the guy that died, but he never tagged it. Only drove it for about three days. And then I bought it and drove it for a couple months and never tagged it. So it's, it's Which only. didn't happen. Yeah. We don't drive on town. We don't drive on Yeah, I remember when I lived in Ash Flat. I don't remember you driving. Yeah, well, I had that 440 Charger, so I didn't drive it a lot. But I drove it like to my dad's a couple times, drove it to Horseshoe to the gym. Tim got it. Oh, Tim, that's before, yeah, like that, before. Yes, before Tim got it. And then I, I sold it to a buddy of mine, and he and he never finished it. So Jude's got it. It's a 67 Ford uh F one hundred, F one hundred, and uh, it had it come factory with the uh, two fifty inline six with the three on the tree that kept sticking all the time. The shifter would get stuck, and I uh, tried to rebuild it a couple of times, but I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I was just a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, so uh, Junior's building the three fifty one Windsor. It's been blueprinted and balanced at R H at R Racing Head Service in Memphis. Uh, the only thing we got to do now is I mean, one of us has got to get some money so we can get a cam and lifter. As soon as we get a cam and lifter in it, uh, I got a motor that I bought from Joey Loans, and it's got the oil pan and all the accessories. You know what? You got to go get that. Yeah, well, I've been calling. We're fixing to just take a day, take a truck, go up and sit there until somebody calls it. He's hard to get rid of. Well, he got. He got in a deal here all by him. Uh, no, no. Some old boy at a some old boy at a him boat that builds dirt track cars went in and bought the frame out of every like the all the J body GMs like Cutlasses and Buicks and uh, Monte Carlos bought the frames out of all of them to make dirt track cars. So that's what he's been doing. And he's been cutting the frame, cutting the bodies off. It's sad, man, because he's had some nice cars. Yeah. yeah. And roll the body off. Oh man. Oh, oh. Hold on. Did you get both of these? Junior's not going to show his beautiful And after what you've been talking about. What? What? You want a. Uh, Seb, Seb, do you want a lightweight poncho? Sure. There's a poncho. Poncho. 
Yeah, I wouldn't give the other one to Paul, but I then gave it to Junior. Right. I don't want to be a tank master. You know, this is talking linguistics. A tank bag. When I was a kid, it was called, like, you're an Indian giver. And I was like, stupid Indians. Come to find out the term was because people would give stuff to Indians and then take it back from them. Yeah. Why are they call them Indian givers? Why don't they call them white givers? White yeah. trade. Colonizers. Call, yeah. Colonizers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I need right. a. I need a. That's stick more like under the hood. Six uh, Yeah, I can get some. I would. Oh, that was. Uh, okay, this is a short lesson, man. This is why you don't drink. I had a buddy of mine, man. I know. I loved him. I loved him like a brother. And uh, he uh, he was a severe alcoholic. And uh, anyway, he was a severe alcoholic. And uh, him and his wife done a lot of bad things. And uh, anyway, he uh, he uh, man, they started going to Little Baptist Church over at a. Uh, uh, what's that town north of Cushman Pleasant Plains is that it no yeah. anyway some little old town in there middle of nowhere over Beguine anyway him and his wife started going to a little Baptist church over there you and, got three do what well, you got three I only have two of those you got three. No, I got all four of them one's here somewhere buried so anyway, we just bent Robert Reed wrecked it and bent the real so the other one's bent so bad it don't matter yeah. But uh, anyway, dude, God saved him and his wife going to church, and then uh, he quit drinking, and she quit her mess, and they, they were man, they were just life was good, and uh, then he thought he had alcohol whoop, so instead of being a thirty pack a day drinker, he thought, well, I've got this whooped, I can drink a little. Well, no little. such thing. His little turned into a little more, and it turned into a little more, and then the next thing you know, man, he was back on the sauce pretty bad. And uh, when he died, man, I went over there one day. Oh, I went over there right before he died, and every old truck he had, man, was rounded up to pass the cab with Mike's Hard Liquor Lemonade. Mike's Hard Lemonade, that get given. So he, he, and anyway, his wife, it killed her. She died first. And then he, uh, yeah, she died first. There's another wheel right there. That, that's a spare for Samuel's Camry. I found, uh, found out about Marty Fortune. He, he's dead. And it's probably from cirrhosis. Yep. Well, anyway, old Marty, he got drunk and passed out. I, the thing was, he uh, he had been so cold, it was so cold, that he actually built a fire in the gas space heater on the wall. Because he's just gutter yeah, drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he built a fire in the space heater on the wall and uh, caught the trailer on fire, and he was, he was blacked out and drunk. Yeah, I couldn't get out. They didn't think to get out. He was gutter drunk. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it is horrible. I hate to see that, man. People get back on that crap. You see, people. I'm who, so glad that I've gotten off of it. Yeah, well, just anything, man. I mean, like, I I plan on. Okay, I, I did you hear about that old boy in Cape City this year that died from smoking pot? Somebody gave him some weed that was waste laced with fentanyl. I see that ain't just smoking pot. But you don't know. I mean, you really don't know. You do if you know the person already. And you know it's already been smoked on. So. Yeah. This stick might actually be too long, but... That's... Well, 
Shut up. That's what she said. No! No! Actually, it's fine when Junior says it. <laughs> right, because you don't expect the, he anything. Pretty, he gets the pretty pass. He gets the pretty pass. Huh. That's going to push it that way. Okay, this is one thing I hate about late model cars too is these two screws that hold the Santana this fender are four and a half. Uh, holy crap. You four, a four and a half. Four and a half. Chevy and Chevrolet. Chevrolet. You see that wheel and tire right there? Come back and get that. Samuel can have it for the camera. Okay. Yeah, um, Chevrolet and Fords love their end a half millimeter. Four point five. Five point five. Seven point five. You know who doesn't use any halves? Me. That's like little, I throw that crap away. Yeah, well, it's like little kids. How old are you? Seven and a half. You ain't never heard anybody go up 45 and a half. Yeah, I'm 22 <laughs> and a half years old. <laughs> no, because you're growing up, you quit that crap. No, you say young. You say young. That's like you see a guy. How old, How tall are you? Uh -huh, you know, I'm five foot, 11 and a half. Man, just say six foot, because nobody else cares. Right, you know, and it's like, if you're five foot, 11 and a half. And if, if you're five foot, if you're over five I'm foot, over 11. I'm over six foot with heels. <laughs> right. And he wears heels a lot. Junior wears heels a lot. Because he's just My cowboy sexy. boots. With his tutu. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he's just that sexy. He's, he's that sexy. Guy. He's a guy that can pull it off. Right. My G strength. Right. Well, see, Junior used to be a cowboy, right? Uh huh. Till one day, he heard that somebody say, "Get a long little doggy." <laughs> but he mistaken. He thought they were saying, "Get a long little doggy." Uh -huh. That's Junior went and got him a thong. <laughs> Work me up and knock me down. <laughs> right. Slap my bottom and call me right here. That's that's not attached to the fender. <laughs> that's just on the on the, the fender rock. Oh, you know, shit. This piece of stainless right here. Uh huh. I think David's supposed to have it. Hmm? Nice. Hmm. We might be able to do a transplant. I still want to know what happened to the back bumper to my truck. It disappeared. Junior, it got took off. Yeah. I remember years. taking it off. Hey, what? I think I remember taking it off. Yeah, 20 years ago. 30. Yeah. There you go. That truck been Damn. sitting 30 years. There you go. Man, we had so much fun last night. We put up a Christmas tree. Tom yeah. posted a lot of pictures of us. Cool. Night. Yeah. I ain't seen them on Facebook yet. A real one up or a fake one? A fake one. Yeah. We're not tree killers, man. We love yeah, tree killers. We love 